on Wednesdays. We're going to start doing this every Wednesday. I'm going to upload videos from my Twitch stream from the Wednesday shoot where you guys come to my channel and you pick what I play. So I uh, hope you really enjoy the series. I hope it's fun for everybody. Um, I've got lots of retro games. And I'm going to start including a list of those for you guys to uh, to check out on top of this as well as uh, allowing you guys to make some, uh, some preemptive decisions by sending me messages in advance. So I'll list um, all my media accessibility as well. That way you can get a hold of me through whatever channel and uh, let me know what you want me to play for you on Wednesdays. Then on Wednesday, I'll be streaming from 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time to about 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So come check me out and uh, I'll stream whatever Sega Saturn games I've got that you've, uh, that you've chosen. Thanks very much for watching my videos. If you like this video, please remember to click the little like button down below, subscribe, the little bell notification, and we'll catch you again next week. Thanks very much. Crazy good stuff. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the stream. We are doing a What You Want Wednesday today. And so far, I'm feeling like some Street Fighter versus Street Fighter Alpha. So we're going to pop that in. Have some fun. Go ahead and get my job to work. There we go. That's nice. All right. Let's pop open the emulator, start it up, start it up. Hope everybody's doing good. We're going to close my Discord, though. Because that has problems with the overlay of stuff. I don't know why, but Discord generally tends to run a double mic on me, and that gets all kinds of strange and confusing uh, results. So I nerfed that a little bit, and we'll pull this open. Looks good on the screen there. Uh, nope, doesn't look good on the screen there, because that's <laughs> humongous. Uh, let's see if we can get that down the right size for you guys. Not, uh, Gigantor. There we go. Thank you for that. Let's uh, take up on the space there, though, so we're going to pop over the seat and see if we can get that down the right size for you guys. Come on, corner. Corner. Coroner, coronary, coronation, coronation, there we go, that's what we need, carnation, that's like hot chocolate, isn't it, carnation hot chocolate, it's delicious stuff, um, yeah, I don't know what that other day, too, and I'm going to copy in the chat box, because I can't see the chat, what? Well, it's me talking to myself about myself. That's awesome. Regans of Saturn, welcome to my chat. Welcome to my shop. Let me touch your mouth. Tentally. There we are. Okay, let's do some Street Fighter. Oh. Unfortunately, I'm not good at this game. Oh, we're not a controller computer because of the new setup, so let's going to do that quickly. Controller. Config. Up, down, left, right, A, B, C, X, Y, Y, Oh, cool. It's uh, not letting me controller confine the keys. Uh-huh. Da 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 Rapids Cool, so now my mouse button is Rapids Awesome, you can have a start button now Nice start, I like it Options. Always gonna want to check the options because this game has like 17 levels of difficulty. We're gonna go with two because I'm not good at it. Uh, three times punch. I think I want to have as L. Okay, yeah. R. Nice. Maybe I see R. Um. Just 
Just trying to think of how I configure this. A, B, C. X, Y, okay. This may not be as fun as I thought, so. Um, light punch. Middle punch. Heavy punch. Straight house punch. Light, medium. Medium. Heavy. Ah, okay, cool. That's better. Now I understand what I'm doing. Sort of. Um, Ten of an infinite. Uh, one round wins, because I'm awful. Medium, high damage. Uh, game speed, we're going to do normal. Doing tier 1 and 2-2 two, two is like super fast and super super fast, and I, uh, I'm not that good. So we're just going to do normal. Auto... Uh, this is for blocking. We're going to turn auto to free so that if you're not touching a button, it's going to automatically uh, block for you. We're going to leave player 1 and 2 as humans because that's for versus mode. And uh, if I'm ever playing against another human being, I want them to be human. And uh, if I'm playing against the computer, that'll just be more fun. I like the remix music too. We're going to go arcade mode. You have to unlock versus, which means you have to beat arcade once. So hopefully we do that this time through, but maybe not. What's that? Can you not hear me on the microphone or something? What's going on? Betty! Is there a stream doctor in the house? Can you hear me? Is it okay? Is it good? Well, I guess I'm going gently. And we're doing auto. Accidentally sucked in both of those. Controller might be a little iffy. Can you hear me okay? Is everything good? Round one. Hello? Aha! Oh, oh. Kelly is mostly about kicks. And uh, the best way to beat people up with her is to kick people. Generally, it's easier to do a down kick and jump on their heads than a And if you don't learn, then it becomes super easy. Okay. Um, is this better? It should be better. I should be stalking right into the mic right now. and should be working pretty good there at that, that range. I might have to turn the microphones up a little bit, but uh, I shouldn't have to turn it up too much. Mainly, you just have to talk quiet or loud enough that it might be heard. That's the big problem, I think, is I talk quiet. Oh, yeah. Is there any games that you want to see me play, or are you just happy to watch me play? Ah, I thought I was going to throw. The game seems loud? Okay, I've got it really quiet here on the screen, so uh, let me just pause that. I'll come over here, and I'll go to Media Source 2, I believe. It's a game volume. I'll go down a bunch. How's that? Is that better? There is a way to make this one gem work. Uh, I have to change some settings to do that. I can look it up. Um, it just takes me a little bit to, to look it up. Okay, I'll finish this run through. Uh, win or lose. And then I'll try to get a room gem working for you. Round one. Fight. Yeah. 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 Y
this guy's not that hard to, to beat up usually though. I usually struggle in the later levels. Um, I can usually beat the first four or five guys with no problem. And we're playing on a fairly easy mode, so this shouldn't be too, too hard anyway. I might not be able to beat Ken. Ken generally spams his uh, Hadouken and stuff, so... That tends to be a problem, because Hadouken is a good way to keep your social distancing up in this game. <laughs> Although he's not doing a good job of defending himself there. He is attacking quite a bit more than the other characters so far, but not too bad. There we go. Oh, nice. <laughs> wow, the little angel. Of course, you know. She wanted to watch something different. The on-demand button in particular. <laughs> she likes the on-demand button. I don't know what it is. She likes to push that button and then just leave it. Like she's checking out the options. It's not going to order anything for us, but she's not going to do anything to help us watch whatever it is we want her to watch. Oh, I think I'm fighting Guile. This guy is, uh, is, is a Guile knockoff. He's basically Guile without being Guile. He's got a lot of the same moves, very similar character styling. She wants us to buy her stuff, yeah, of course. She doesn't really know how to buy her own stuff. <laughs> she was pretty cuddly this morning, but she had a lot of hugs and she climbed on me a, a bunch of times. I even uh, I took a video of us walking around with her with, uh, with car thingy. I will show you. Show you Vader. I have a video of her crawling around earlier really too. Oh, Ken's one I have to watch out for. Oh, yeah, look at that. He's one doing the social distancing. Oh, ouch. It's a little too far away for that kick. Apparently, I can continue, so I'm gonna. Continue once here to see if I can beat him. I probably won't be able to. I like the auto on this. The auto guard is nice. We talked about being free in the earlier thing where if you're not touching anything it also guards for you. But auto guard um, allows you to block you when you're pressing forward as long as you're not attacking. And even blocking you still take some damage here. And I'm just gonna try and get a super or something off. I'm not sure if I remember how to, but there we go. Oh I just missed. I missed him. Had the super. I missed him. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh nice. If he hadn't have messed it up, I would have really killed him a little easier. But he did a good job of that at the right time. Hey, the merch guy's back. Sweet. I didn't even do anything. He came back on his own. Round one. Fight! Samus not supposed to be a super easy person to get her thing up. He's not supposed to be a super easy person to get up, but um, with the exploit there of the super fast feet, you can usually do it to him one or two times in a row, and he goes down fairly easy. It's kind of weird that uh, Ryu gives me more difficulty than some of the harder bosses. But again, Ryu, that um, Hadouken is really what really throws you off. It's got a huge range on it, it's really exploited a lot bigger than it looks. And it's harder to jump over than a lot of the stuff in the game. Um, uh, and Bison here also happens to have a really nasty couple of second throws. And also a power bomb or two that do various levels of damage. So you be careful of all of that too. This is actually, Chun-Li is actually my best character in all the Street Fighter games. 
Um, I don't know if you have access to other characters outside of the Street Fighter cast, say like um, X-Men vs. Street Fighter. I do much better with anyone who's not a Street Fighter character. Street Fighter is not, uh, not a good game for me. I'm not good at. Yeah. Not good at these kind of games. This particular level of fighting game. It's not my style. I'm much more of a dead or alive kind of person. Yay, the time has come. Try a harder level. I beat the game once. Oh, easy difficulty. The Over Dragon. That's hilarious. It doesn't even give you a congratulations or way to go. First place in the scoreboards, though. By a lot. 50,000 is the next highest. 401,000. Or 400,000. 101. Yeah, exactly. It's one thing to like them, it's another thing to be good at them. I'm not, not very good at the Street Fighter thing. Here, I'm gonna look up Earthworm Jim now. I'm just gonna display while I look it up. And we'll figure out uh, what can be done for Earthworm Jim. Is there something you can be done for? I don't want to see gameplay, I want to see the control settings for the Saturn. settings I need. Obviously not asking the right questions for a Throom Gym. Let me try a different thread here. Sure, Bucky, but I'm going 
Oh yes, he's gonna save Princess Watchman from the psycho. Oh. Forget about the Queen's Street Fighter Alpha. Oh, apparently there were at least four games in the series. All very interesting things to know, but uh. Street Fighter Alpha. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm trying to find how to play Earthworm Gem. It is very hard to find information on what to do. Because most people are not actually listening the settings. Most people are listening to oh, this is not working in any other way. Street Fighter Alpha. Oh, no, no. Emulator, emulator. Come on, tell me which emulator settings I need. Okay. 
Well, apparently the emulator does run it. Um, I'm just going to look for some settings. Give me a moment here while I play around with some potential information in game. And we'll go. Yeah, that alone. That. We're going to want. I'm basically just turning on a whole bunch of all kinds of crazy stuff and hoping that that allows the game to pick up the things it needs and run sparkly on those. We're going to basically boost up a few things and, uh, and make the things really high and hope it doesn't crash my system. And put on that cache. that for the graphics I'm gonna make this 128 megabits no we're gonna make it 84 megabits uh, probably gonna be the highest we can set that to without it crashing out as well and ignore this error and we're gonna try those settings then we're gonna put in that thermogen so we we'll close that and that'll Save the settings, then we're going to pop in Earthworm Jim 2 so we can get this thing to actually play. The last time we played it, Earthworm Jim was not visible on the screen. That was the problem we had before, so if that's the case this time as well, we'll try some other settings. But I turned on some things that hopefully will allow it to go, Hey, there's a guy there, and he's doing stuff. Let's follow him along. And let him do stuff. Come on, TD, go back in your sleeve. In the sleeve. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Uh, Earthworm Jim, that's Space Jam. Earthworm Jim, he rockets to the sky. Earthworm Jim, he's such a groovy guy. Groovy guy. Should be groovy. Such a groovy guy. Opening do 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 Shiny Entertainment So that's all you see with There are push button codes that you can push there, which will open the start menu and some debug and some other things. Okay, so I'm still in gym. So that's kind of cool. didn't save most of the settings it turned on though it looks like so that might be part of the problem uh, I'm going to try to change these settings again hopefully it'll actually save this time expect priority delay interrupt okay gotta set up some settings because yeah the, the problem with this game is if you don't have the right settings on with this thing it won't work properly um, I did also try to scale up the GPU which should help a lot oh my mouse is funny I am going to need a new mouse very soon every time I click on something it double clicks pretty much all the time now so that will, I'll either need to pull it apart and fix stuff or I'll have to actually yeah buy a new one but um, I don't want to do that until there's at least something coming in. They're a hundred bucks. The one I like. 
And if we make that 100% on the slave 2. And change this up a little bit too. Make that 32. Okay. Trying to do these one page at a time so it saves them and remembers them. Close and we'll go OK. I'm going to try to open it again and hope it saved the settings. Because it might keep individual files for each individual game, in which case um, Virtual Fighter just got a huge bunch of things turned on for it that it probably doesn't need. This might be a little overkill. Weapon, whip, hot swings, diaper. Cool. Uh, I'm in the debug menu. Son of a. We don't really know any of them. Son of a. Let's not. Let's go to the game. Come on. Son of a. Each one of these has a thing. Son of a. I don't want to do this, Jim. Come on. Son of a. Let's go to the actual game, play the actual game. Come on. Son of a... Son of a... Yeah, let's go to the actual game, Jim. Come on. Why are you not playing the actual game? Why are you forcing me to do this? I don't want to do this. Cool. So, that forced me into a debug menu accidentally because I pressed a whole bunch of buttons before pressing start. Let me see if start actually works properly now. The way it's supposed to. Because you can't see anything in the debug menu because I have to turn layers on and off and not play around with layers. Anything but tangerines. No, well, we still don't have a sprite for Jim. This tells me one of three things. We may never get a sprite for Jim. It's one of the big possibilities. I'm going to turn off some of these um, backgrounds and see if we can see a Jim. Center of the screen. Obviously, where he is. You can shoot with that button. You can move his head around with that button. You can choose what weapons I want to use with this button. But uh, that does not help me any. But I can't actually do anything. I can't see what I want. I can't see what he is at. It's good. The game is great. But, um, this one is not a good one. Brandy, this is uh, what you want. Wednesday, so Brandy requested a Throne Gem 2. Still can't get it to work. Next! Well, Fury, do you want to see a specific game being played? What do you mean you can't hear me? Oh yeah, that game volume was really loud. Yeah. 
I'm probably going to have to adjust every game as we go. We'll see, though. Uh, volume mixer. I'll just open the volume mixer, and every time it comes up, I'll change it. But yeah, literally, we can't get Jim on the screen there. There's no way to make him appear. Right, let's try all the settings on. We've tried it with all the settings off. I'm not going to sit there and individualize each and every single setting. That will take me hours and hours and hours and hours to play around with just to find out whether or not we can get Jim to appear. The internet doesn't say anything about Earthworm Jim 2. I've looked it up. So, we're not playing that game right now. I'm going to customize them when I have time. Well, for you, did you have a game you wanted me to play? If you don't pick, I'm, I'm going to put on um, Darius Gaten. If Dark Souls shows up, we'll probably be switching to Magic Knight of the Earth. But until then, I'm going to play a couple other things. For funsies. We haven't played this one with the setup, so I'm going to try out uh, controller, control pad, uh, enemy, C, Z, L, R, start, rapids, <laughs> I know, right? It's, uh, it's classic. This game goes back a long ways. I don't even think I can actually honestly beat this game. Um, because I'm not good at shooters. And it's very Japanese with lots of big words. Embarkation. Embarkation, so we're gonna leave. So, for us to embark, instead of using the words leave, use the word embarkation. This big giant fish thing is attacking us, so we kind of had to try and kill him. Uh, I'm gonna put on easy because I'm, I'm bad. The games. How's the volume? Not too bad. Uh, different kinds of power-ups in this game. Red power-ups are gun power-ups, green power-ups are health, I think, and blue power-ups are shields. Oh no, I hit the bottom there. I forgot about that. Don't do that. I've also got little bomb things that show at the bottom. Oh, apparently I hit the top there. Okay, so I'm going to already have a really hard time against this boss because I lost all the power-ups and um, I'm now sucking. Purple, yeah. I forget what the purple power-ups are good for, but they're good for something. Um, like I said, I'm bad at this game. So I uh, need to continue before we get to the end of the first level. Which is bad. But I got all my power-ups back. So that'll help as long as I don't die. I missed that blue guy there because I was in too much of a hurry. Look, that would have been more shields, which would have been nice here. There we go, now we've got some decent lasers and life or something. 
So I can get better-ish power-ups at this point. Oh, no shield. Oh, shit. I really should have used a bomb there. That would have been smart. Oh, battleship. I don't like the golden armor. So you get to fight this guy and then he runs away. He's, uh... He's the main boss boss of the game. And in order to beat him, you really kind of have to pay attention here because you have to be able to survive the paneling. If you don't open up enough spaces there, he's really difficult to deal with. Your bummy drop things that you drop on him are kind of helpful, but you have to know when he's available to be hit. And um, your big bombs that you set off, now's a good time to use them when he's available to be hit as well. Because otherwise, he does crazy stuff like that to you. And it pretty much wipes you out. And I messed that up pretty good, so we'll continue one more time. Luckily again, the continuing gives you some power-ups, or that would have been a longer fight, and that would have sucked even harder. It looks like you blew him up, but you don't really blow him up. Um, this game has pathways, obviously you can see you can choose kind of which zone to go to. And... Um, yeah, it's a really challenging game. I haven't beaten this game in forever. Actually, honestly, I don't know if I've ever really beaten this game. I know I've done okay at it a few times, but I can't think of a time where I've actually ever really beaten this game. And part of that is the huge difficulty level. This is a Japanese level shooter. Um, if you know anything about shooters or the time frame that they were released, Japan has this crazy notion of you will win or you will lose hard. The, the, these games are difficult beyond belief. Uh, you touch a single wall or a single enemy, you lose this nice round shielding that you have. And so you really have to be careful. Actually, I think it lasts for three or four hits. Yeah, four hits there. But you really have to be careful because all this shielding and stuff goes away. And then it's really devastating to you. Some of the enemies have special things that they do that allow you to hurt them more. And some things are like here where I can shoot through that stuff. But I can't hit this guy behind me. So no matter what I do, I'm pretty much stuck here trying to deal with this guy. I have no credits. The game's like, oh yeah, continue. You, if you have a second player controller, you can hop over to second player. And um, yeah, this is it's kind of, yeah, the, the level selection is kind of Starbucks style. But literally, I'm done here. I've used up all three of my continues on two levels. And I'm playing on easy. This game is hard. The, the fun thing about it is that there are push button cheat codes that let you have infinite um, energy and stuff. And so you can, uh, at some point, if you really want to, you can get on here and you can go infinite health, uh, max gun power up, this thing, that thing, and, um, and all that fun jazz. And then it's a little easier. I can still lose using infinite power ups as long as I don't put on um, invincibility. I have, I have lost before, playing with max power-ups and always have power-ups on. It can be that hard. It's a fun little game to, to try out though, I, I kind of missed playing it there for a bit. No, I don't miss it anymore, <laughs> but it's something different. Um, still no request for you? Okay, yeah, Uh, ask me if there's a game you want me to play, I'll see if I have it. I have almost all the good Sega Saturn titles that exist. Nights in the Dreams, Daria Skate that we just played, Earthworm Gem 2, Albert Odyssey, Street Fighter the Movie, Virtual On, Sonic 3D Blast, A20 USA, which I can't get to work, A Stall, Space Jam, Panzer Dragoon 2 Zui, uh, Bug, Street Fighter Alpha, Magic Carpet. Uh, I got an Xbox game here called Gun Valkyrie. I do have an Xbox now. Um, one of my buddies uh, let me or gave me his uh, collection of all consoles. Street Fighter Alpha. Okay, well, not that good. I'll play it though, just for you. Street Fighter the movie is really awful, by the way. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. 
Well, I imagine that's quite loud, but I uh, turn that down a bit, so hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's a better game. It definitely is much better. Pretty sure I've played it recently. I'm not sure I have a controller. Oh, I was playing it earlier today. You missed out on me playing it, and I beat it on, like, two-star difficulty. So I'm going to play it on four-star difficulty. Uh, nope. Punches are here. This one, this one. This one. This one. That makes kicks. This guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Yeah. Set up. Infinite time. One round wins. Damage output low. Game speed normal. Arcade mode. I'm not sure how to unlock. Oh, I think in order to unlock versus mode, I have to set up two controllers. That's what I have to do to, to, to get it to go. Characters like random? What do you think? Do you have a favorite character you want me to play with? I beat it with Chun Li earlier, just for your information. Oh, apparently it did go with random. Which is, it's gonna end. <laughs> put me with Chun Li. Uh, so if I die, I'll choose Rose or Charlie. Did not intentionally choose that, it just didn't let me leave the square after it and command it for so long. I'm not claiming to be good at any of these. Um, I'm definitely not a Street Fighter. I, I'm okay at Street Fighter 2. Um, Turbo, um, all of them additions. I know some of the hidden and secret moves for some of these characters. But I'm okay at certain levels of... Like I know for her kick I really just need to like mash the button until she gets it off. Sort of thing. And I'm okay at like understanding the concepts behind throws, but I don't really get how to throw. Um, especially that air throw that I just did twice in a row, I don't really know how I did that. It's not something I've memorized. I kind of know how to do her one special attack where she charges up a kick thing, but it's mostly random because they just kind of mash buttons and then press a button and it kind of works. I'm not very aware, if that makes sense. Birdie. I don't like this guy. He's too big. He's not very fast, but he's very strong. Come get some. No, he's too far away. There we go. Hi, buddy. Oh, no, I think it's... Uh... I can't remember how to do that special kick that I was doing over there. But it's backwards now because I'm on the wrong side. Oh, nice. Unfortunately, he blocked, but he's able to summon a ball there. Did I just taunt him? Wow. Ouch. What are you doing throwing me around? Oh, oh Jesus. Maybe he let himself go after four. He was on a, on a hiatus and, and ate himself to uh, bigger proportions. Also not a big fan of this guy as an enemy. I'm pretty good with him with his size.
I'm definitely a really bad person for jumping. I jump a lot. I find it just leaves me with the ability to get into range a lot easier, or get out of range if I need to. And uh, because of that, it's uh, one of the reasons that I find I can win against a lot of the computers, because they don't really prepare for, or are prepared for, above attacks. So it's not the head stomp that she does. Most of them are not prepared for that very well, and they don't block it very good. You saw him in any of the other ones? Do you recognize him from any other Street Fighters? Oh, and I was going to mention, remember how we did music last week? We're not going to do that again. Because I got a video warning about music and copyright infringement and they didn't ban my my anything or get really mad about it, but I wasn't, um, I'm not allowed to monetize that video, and if anybody monetizes it for any reason, it won't be me. Oh, that's a cool attack move I did. Yeah, they were like, yeah, um, Duran Gray now has rights to monetize this video. And so, yeah, they probably do, but um, Twitch and YouTube both get really upset. Twitch wasn't a problem. The Twitch had no problem with it. It was YouTube, because I upload this to, to YouTube every Wednesday for What You Want Wednesdays. It's the one video a week that I'm creating as a series on there right now. And they were like, no, um, content creators say no. Don't do that, please. So I'm not going to do that again. Not on the What You Want Wednesdays. Maybe on a different uh, different one where I'm not going to be uploading it to uh to YouTube, but for this particular series, because I'm doing that, I'm not gonna. Can't risk my account. I usually have a harder time against Ken and uh, Ryu, uh, especially Ryu because he does um, his um, Hadouken a lot. But today I seem to be doing okay against them all. Maybe it's because of low damage. When you turn the damage up higher, it's really hard to deal with some of the higher, harder damages that these guys do. Those hits hurt a lot more. Oh jeez, the flame fist. I wasn't expecting to see that. Ah, oh, I didn't catch him in my ball. I forget that that's right in front of you when you're doing it that way. Oh, and I'm actually still losing again now. Ah, jeez. Wow, what, a, what an upset. Well, time to switch to Charlie, I guess. Hmm, okay. Nine. Not a popular character then. Charlie. Yeah. It's neat that some of the future people are beat still. Basically, if you were really struggling, you could start with an easier character for you to play with, beat a bunch of guys, and then switch up to something else. Switch up to a different character that you're better with. Start with characters you're not super strong with, and then beat up some guys, and then try to get through the story that way. It's kind of cool. I don't know any moves. I want to do moves. What moves can I do? Oh, I used up some of the special uh, doing something. Do something up there. Uh -huh. Like I got her. She sounds dead to me. Or at least hurt. You never really kill anybody in this game. It's not about killing them, it's about beating them until they stop getting up. Isn't that like killing them, dude? Mmm. Oh, boo. Never really thought of it like that. Why? 
I don't have the, uh, this isn't, um, these games are too old. The learning doesn't exist in, in these fighting games. Newer fighting games, there's a lot of learning in the, in the PCs. They know, um, what's happening, and they can learn from your attack patterns and get better at beating you up based on your style. Newer fighting games that. These fighting games, not so much. They don't really care about that. However, Ken does have quite a few specials that he uses frequently. He didn't do it earlier today because I was playing on a slightly less difficulty. And that's why I could get through him so easily. But I forgot that Ken too, like Ryu, is very much oriented towards doing a lot of damage as fast as possible. And since I don't really know the game that well, it's harder for me to get off the specials. So it's going to be kind of tough to get past here. At this point, it's going to be it's going to be a little harder to beat this, which is okay because I'm still having a lot of fun. I don't really play this that often, and so it's a good test of my skills. My size of screen, though, I, I did mention uh, I bought some new monitors because my old monitor crapped out and got a great deal on some brand new ones. Uh, my size of screen is actually about the same size of screen as you're seeing there and I'm sitting further away from that screen than I am from the screen that you guys have access to probably so not that that's a bad thing necessarily but it's a little bit hard to see the cues from some of the characters because of the way their hands and legs are you have to read their fists and stuff and it's a little harder to know exactly I could sit a little closer but then it'd be harder for, you, for us to do the camera angles and stuff I think because uh Okay, I'm set at a very specific set of angles too. Um, special lighting thing? Nope. Just blocking, just blocking, and punch at the right time, huh? I'm not sure how I punched him out of that, because he was going to attack me for a couple more hits, I think. Oh, I think I specialed out of it, actually. Looks like I did. Special counter or something. Oh, jeez. And I thought I was jumpy. Oh, no. Ugh. Oh, time to try rows, I guess. That was a really close fight, though. I like having it set to one round. I know that's probably not the best way to, to play the game. Um, but I find that that way, when you get a win, you, you win. And that's that. Period. End of subject. If you lose, then you lose, and then you potentially have to win a two in a row. And that can be really tough. I'd rather just lose once, and then win once, and then go from there. Looks like I have to go back a, a while a ways and fight Guy though here. Ouch! Throw off the bat. You can definitely tell that Chun-Li is my best character though. Uh, I'm the most skilled with her. I don't even really... I've never played with Rose before so this is all new to me. I like that she's kind of magical. She's got like this... Uh, Magic vibe to her, shooting bullets and stuff. Oh, nice! I got him. Do you see that, Mile? I was like dancing around for a little bit until I figured out how to hit him. I mean, I'm not super bad at, at fighting games by any stretch, but. I like to think I'm fairly, fairly okay. I really gotta try to find a way to reduce the flag on the chat. Let me see if I can do that right now quickly, actually. Oh no, that's definitely not the right button. That button does nothing. Uh, that button does nothing, because that's locked in there. Okay, uh, no, I can't adjust chat right now. I would love to do that for you guys. Uh, make it so it's up to date on, on the time change, but... Yeah, I um, have played Street Fighter V. I like the new graphic style. Outside of that, I don't like anything about it. Nothing. Absolutely nothing about it is appealing to me. Um, Ryu is definitely even more cheap in 3D than he is in 2D, and all the other characters are just pretty much plain, simple, or ordinary, boring characters. And I'm a, I don't enjoy... I'm not enjoying these. The, than the direction it took in 5. And maybe that's partly my own fault because I'm used to 2D, um, 2D fighting games. But at the same time, I play um, Dead or Alive 4 and that's fully 3D. 
with none of this nonsense about not being able to go around each other in a circle. Like uh, Virtual Fighter 1 and 2 had pseudo 3D movement where you could move around in circles, but it's tricky and you have to use certain moves to go into those modes. Well, I guess we'll do those again. I lost with both of the characters that you recommended, so I went back to auto or to random and it chose Rose again. So we'll try this one more time. But yeah, no, I, I really don't like the um, the fighting style uh, that they brought forth in 5. It's a lot more fast-paced, and not that that's a problem necessarily, but it just doesn't seem to be as fun as, uh, as this version of it has been like alpha one this is the this is the fun fighting style where you can figure out an enemy's guard break it and then just get right in there and destroy them and if you can't figure out the guard you can build up your bonus meter and then start hurling stuff at them oh well that was an interesting way to dodge the hadouken but it would have been nicer if i hit him with it Rose has quite a bit of range. I'm noticing that she's got significant uh, distance there. Oh, missed him again because he Hadouken. The, the iframes there, the invincibility frames. That's um, that's a concept that you'll hear over and over again in video games. Um, Randy, I love is um, iframes. People will talk about iframes, especially in games like fighting games. Iframes, invincibility frames. How many hundredths of a second you get of invincibility? It really breaks down to frames. So, uh, three frames, I think it's, no, how many frames is in a second? Five frames in a second? Seven frames in a second? Something like that. So if you have four iframes of invincibility, it's like a third of a second worth of invincibility, which is enough time in a fighting game to change the outcome of a, of a fight. It's pretty crazy knowledge stuff. Pretty deep into the physics. Wow, uh, Adon so leapy. He's a Muay Thai fighter, eh? Adon? He's using a lot of his knees and stuff. Of course, being a grumpy bomb mummy, I can hear lots of screaming and stuff going on upstairs. Oh jeez. <laughs> He's got me trapped in the corner there. Oh nice! Finish him! So I guess one of the things that I forgot to set up is that the combo levels can go higher. Um, but uh, one of the settings that I have it set on the combo level max is at 1 and that's max. And I'm guessing that's in the settings menu. I have to check out that again because I'm not able to build two, two or two or three supers. Level one will do as much as I can do, but it just, it, it seems like some of the other characters have access to more, like that guy had access to three. And so, yeah, maybe I want to consider changing that in case I want to be able to do the higher end supers and stuff. Oh, seven head uppercut, eh? Jeez. He's punishing me, for sure. And Bison also seems, or Sagat also seems to be a bit more Muay Thai style than I remember. Oh, I have invincibility and stuff, and I'm not using it. I don't know what to do here. I didn't know that that was a mode I entered. I thought I was actually like doing a super, and so I was like, oh, let it finish him. And then I just stood there and got beat up. <laughs> nice. Yeah, isn't Vega just like his showpiece, isn't he? He just stand, kind of stands there and. Maybe that's the thing that I'm getting, the simple OP that might be from that. I might, I might just want to go with another option next time. We'll see. I like having the, the auto guard function.
Oh, jeez. Well, I got him, but because Chun Li's my best character, everybody is is weak with against Chun Li for me. Really, I think I forgot about that. I don't have seen the movie. I know I enjoyed the movie enough to buy the game. Because that's why I own this game, is because the Street Fighter movie was so good. Or it was at least fun. Whether it was good or not, I don't really remember. As much storyline as the game gets, you're under arrest for being a bad guy. Oh no! Oh, slow downs! No graphical slow downs, don't do that! Whoa, what the heck happened there? Sorry, I don't know what happened. My computer did some funky stuff. We tried to open a second set of recording instruments. And I think it's because I accidentally pressed the PlayStation button and the, not the PlayStation button, the Xbox button in the center for the controller. I accidentally pressed that and it went, well, no bump. I won! He still hit me, but I won! Yeah, that was bad. It was the worst leg I've seen in a long time. I thought my, my game was crashing. It's like, no, computer, don't do that. Oh, an actual ending. Almost as if you're in a dream. Such good writing. Clap, clap, clap. Yay! Come over, try again. Because, you know, didn't beat it on a high enough difficulty to get a good score or anything. Just the best score in the game. Yay, so. It's too bad we couldn't do, um... That's just ranking. Oh, okay, I, we don't have Master's Mode unlocked. Capcom, Street Fighter, Alpha God. I like how all of those are short. Um, short for Capcom, Street Fighter, Alpha, and God. God, obviously, is the only one that's... But, um... These are Master Difficulties. Which is a mode we can't get right now. I don't remember how. It's in between training mode and options. I don't remember how to unlock it. I'd have to look that up. Either there's push button codes or you have to do a certain thing in the arcade or something. I'm going to assume that you'd probably have to beat the game on like this difficulty. Oh, I don't want in here. What am I doing? Punch. This punch, this punch, this punch, this punch. No, this punch. Keep messing up my controller configure. Shouldn't do that. Probably need to do that and then like time limit 25 and damage high or something. Easy select on and like tier 2. Auto off. Let's try all these crazy setups. Shall we? Still one round, right? Yeah, one round. Change the game up a whole bunch. See if we can have some more fun. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to play with Chun-Li. 
because this is going to be painful. So do you have a whole bunch of the other ones? I don't remember which console number two is on. Or three for that matter. I know four and five are available on Xbox. Ah, uh, 360 and. I'm not going to play this mode. No. No. It's not happening. He moved faster than I could attack. My brain can't process speed like that, like, I haven't played it enough, that my instincts are good enough, that I could actually play it at that speed. So it's one of the ideas that was. Maybe five stars is okay. Eight stars, mom, nom, nom, no, no, no. Ooh, I did random and got the boss. The hidden character you can't select otherwise. I don't think he's on the character select screen. High damage means that um, it'll take less time to win with this too. So it'll it'll be painful, but it'll also take less time to win. Every time I get hit, I'll feel bad. Every time I give a hit, I'll be great. She was doing her kick, and I felt like I was going to jump right into it, and I almost did. But she stopped doing it right away. Oh, she still got me. Yeah, no, I'm just not, I'm not, um... Not that good at fighting games. Not my forte. There's on PS1, okay. Yeah, PS2... I think PS2 and PS3 had each had one. Although I don't remember for sure. Is there another hidden character in this one? I don't remember. I know I'm bison. Oh no, yeah, Akuma is in this one. You can unlock Akuma. I'm pretty sure. I should look that up because Akuma is awesome and super difficult to fight. Oh, ouch. The throw really helped there. That did a lot of damage. I almost kind of want to pop in the internet now that I'm looking for Kuma. <laughs> I don't know if you can proc a fight with a Kuma unless you're on the hardest difficulties though. So I don't even know if it's worth like trying to even find him or 
I mean, playing as him would be awesome because he's so powerful. And his moves are so easy to get off. Like, he's literally the easiest character to use in the game. Hey, Sharumba! She unforgiving! Oh, I think I've had enough of getting my butt kicked. Any other game suggestions? Down, 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 left, left, left. Oh, really? Huh. Down, 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 right, 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 for player one. Okay. Let's have a look see, shall we? Nope. If you're sure you looked at the Sega Saturn version. FAQs for the other games like this. Uh, Google doesn't really know anything. finish guys with supers so I won't ever be able to do that I'm also on the one round setting See, um, game FAQs will have the actual thing. The problem with um, every other site is that they don't really care about the translations, and so they're always wrong. Like, it's always just some random whatever. Google don't know. Game FAQs is the site to go to. Yeah, yeah, go me. Still the top of the leaderboards until I close the game. Actually, it probably will save us. It's got hard drive memory space. So one thing, the one best thing about having an emulator is I actually have access to three terabytes worth of space for the game to save. Normally, it's like, oh yeah, you have a hundred. Uh, what is it? Maximum. Say, maximum save file space is five hundred and twelve bits. Which, if you don't think about bits, that's um, less than forty-two megabytes. I think. Total saveable space. It's very small. Very, very small. I mean, the game files aren't huge anyway because it's a Sega Saturn. But, uh, yeah. Um, it's neat to know that you can unlock a coma for sure. 
But I'm not that good at the game, so maybe another time. I mean, there's got to be another way that you can unlock Kuma too. There's got to be a cheat code. There's always push button codes for these fight codes. All of these things are going to be push button codes. All of them do. Oh, some of my favorite ones including, include the one for Space Jam that says that you have infinite super. And uh, with that, you basically just grab the ball and use your super move from halfway across the court and you dunk. And you dunk, and you dunk, and you dunk. And I use that to get like 750 points against the bad guys once. The Monstars! I beat the Monstars! Maybe I'll pop in Magic Knight here and just roll down at this point. I think so. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Because, as much as I like Street Fighter, and as fun as that is to get my butt kicked. Oh yeah, did I mention that I got an Xbox, an original Xbox that works? Picked it up from a buddy at his store. He was giving it away for free. I only own two games. One game that came with it and one game that I currently own called Gun Dockery. Two, hopefully two fully working controllers. The one controller works just fine. Didn't test the second one out yet. So if I can find Dead or Alive 4, someone for dirt cheap. Like, say, eBay. eBay would have it, I'm sure. Just drive open. Oh, yeah, we should quit that and relaunch that so it's not like... Because, you know, it's like when you open the Sega Saturn drive door and then just leave it open. It doesn't work. It said no. How's the volume on that still? Pretty good? Not too loud, not too soft? Compared to my volume... I wonder if I've got a save file or if I have to use a save state for where I'm at. I think I have a save file. We'll see. GPP. I like the GPPD. Spring of Eternia. Spring of Eternia. Yeah. Should be right outside of... This is like right after we got our Escudo weapons. Or no, after we got our Escudo to make weapons. Or is it right before we go in the spring? Uh, this is a good question. What did we do? Yeah, okay, so. Now we're on our way back to Brizia with the Escudo. Because we beat all the doppelgangers inside the spring. I keep getting notifications on TikTok. Most of them are just people going live though, I think, so I'm not really too worried about it. Yeah. Not even TikTok. It's my phone giving me messages for uh, people streaming on here. DS Koopa is now live. Yay! Go DS Koopa! That guy runs a store. It's a pretty cool little store. It's, um. Store that he has has all kinds of gaming stuff in it, old and new, and they fix gaming consoles and things. So it's pretty cool too. But um, I don't really care so much about it because it's kind of like um, game creators and whatnot. On the one hand, it's excellent to see people doing that stuff. On the other hand, um, them taking apart consoles only interests me in the fact that I would someday like to take apart my own consoles. 
and fix them up slash hook them up to computers and stuff. I do have a non-working Xbox that came with the uh, working Xbox, as well as a GameCube that has, um, what does the GameCube have? No controllers and no games. So I'm not even sure the GameCube works because I have no way to test it. Uh, I can turn it on and I'm sure it'll come up with a Nintendo menu. But I haven't even plugged it in to see if it works and receives power. Because without any games or anything, it's kind of nonsense to do that. It's like crappy crappy sucky sucky. You know, you get it. Um, there should be a run button in this game. What that button might be, I don't know. I'm using um, food to pretty much kill guys at a distance though. Just makes life easier. But having to deal with most of the guys in melee range. When um, the cargo gets her first weapon upgrade, her sword's much longer and does a lot more damage. But when Umi gets her first weapon upgrade, it shoots a bolt. So, there are benefits to using them later on. Right now, the only real thing that you should do is use Umi until she takes damage, and then you should heal Umi, and then. For Fu, sorry, you should use Fu, heal Fu, and then continue to use Fu. Um, that's why she got so much health too, so that she can heal herself. Like, you guys do less than one whole thing per hit. At the moment, in fact, I don't even think you can die to these things. When they're small, you can die to the bigger ones because they hurt you more. It's also easier to hit, so. They start. Uh oh. Baby is crying significantly. I'm gonna have to go. We'll be right back. Sorry about that. Crying baby is not always a good thing, but uh, turns out she's okay. She just knocked something over. Didn't even hurt herself. So this forest is so cool that um, we have been navigating it almost no problems lately. Except that right now we're currently in a loop. Because I walked the wrong way. When you come down here, if you go... This way, you go the wrong way. I think it's actually that way. Yeah, this way is the way out. Some of the, the spots are really hard to tell exactly where to go. But if you pay attention, you can pretty much figure that forest out fairly easily without too much backtracking. Um, three of the four paths will always be wrong. You just have to know the right path and pay attention to that. And just pretty much like, yeah, go up, left, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then. If anybody ever struggles with that, they can always send me a message let me know and I'll tell them the... I'll, I'll come back here and write out the exact instructions as to how to get places. Because there should never be a problem getting around there. So we're back in the armory. I think we have to go back to her office to talk to her though, unfortunately. I was hoping it was the armory because I was expecting to go there, but... Uh, oh, we're just going to have a... Quick drink of the magic fountain. Actually, I don't even think you have to drink from it. I think if you just go near this thing, it automatically replenishes yourself. Let's see. Let's see here. One of these buttons casts a spell. I think. Oh, what? Right, one of those buttons is a map move button. Is that... Huh. We only have one map location, so... interesting that we come in the outdoor. Like the far outdoor, not the actual outdoor that we were out before. Yes, of course we are. Did you expect us to be somebody else? We were 
were told by Clef to come see you. What do you expect? Savants. I, I was unprepared, but next time I'll surely... Silence. There shall not be a next time, dear Alcyon. <laughs> He's the son of your... Say God, please! I'm begging you! Just give me one more chance! She's Master so desperate. God. This is not the last we see of Alcyon, though, I believe. Alcyon was never suited to the task at hand. Zagat, there's still a chance to stop them. Send me, and I'll show them how we play. Interestingly enough, this particular character sounds like he's voiced by a teenager, even though Very he's well, actually a Do not child. Return without favorable news. Yeah, some weird shit going on there. I can hardly hear the game volume, so I'm going to turn it up a little bit on my end, and hopefully it doesn't affect you guys too much. So apparently they all just stood there and waited for her to make weapons. Which took all of the amount of length of time of that cutscene. So she's some kind of special magical witch. Has to be, because uh, there's no way that in that time frame of less than five minutes cutscene that someone could have made three whole weapons out of all that raw material. I mean, yes, it's a video game. I get that. Okay, so. I keep forgetting that support button. Fair enough now though, because of that we were able to skip a cutscene and proceed on without her. Thinking back to what it says about Akuma there, I think you're not allowed to lose more than two rounds. I think that's what that means. So everybody gained a hit point, everybody gained a magic point, and because um, Fu was already ahead, she now has five. 
In towns, you're not able to use magic or, or spells or weapons, so you can't really check out the new weapons that you have yet until you get outside of this town. This is the first little village that you can come to that you can buy stuff. And I tell you about this guy who has a thing. I don't think there's any actual hidden... You know, I don't know about that actually. I'm trying to think if, if I know for sure that anything is hidden in this game or not. I know there's some actual definite hidden items. And we'll be trying to find all of those. But I think you pretty much don't get anything from anything inside of anywhere. You just get all the subtext. All the hidden stuff is really just that. Literally hidden somewhere. Yeah, you teach. Especially us. She'll be teaching us for sure. You just don't want it right now because you're reluctant. But this boy will teach us something. From what I remember, he teaches us a part of this. Part of our skill set. I can't remember 100% though. It's been a while. Strange, yeah, strange enough, I guess. Wild boys moving into the neighborhood, getting you down. Just remember, there's always tomorrow. Hey look, it's Ascot. Although, you don't know he's a bad kid yet, so whatever, he just seems to be a regular person. He almost calls you Magic Knights there, and that would give away a little bit of a story plotline thing, but he's just looking out over the, the hills and the fields and watching you go about stuff. The dreaded monsters are hiding up there. Oh no. Whatever shall we do? There's some sort of magical barrier in the way. You're right, something awful has happened to Princess Emerald. She fell in love. Oops, was that supposed to be a story plot spoiler? Yeah. Not quite as adventure seeking as um, Zelda when you find pots, pans. That, that felt like a headache. Wouldn't go anywhere near the cave. Yeah, gotcha. Me, I'm not afraid to fight the hideous beasts in the cave. I have a scudo of weapons and armor. I power up with the will of my thoughts. There's no way I'm afraid of this. Not missing any strength. Ha 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 ha! Yay! Scared you. Because you know, that was my goal all along. Don't make you terrified. Owie! Can't go in the water, eh? We don't have the skill set to cross here. There's, um. They build a bridge or something later on in the game to get across here. But you don't take any damage for trying, so I thought it would be fun. Totally fun, right? Absolutely. This is a crystal shop. Oh, ouch. I think I want to get this out there. I'm trying to ask, see if there's a way behind the house. 
So maybe there's a secret back door entrance or something, but I'm guessing I can't do that. No, nope, doesn't look good. So, we'll come in here. Oh. Yeah, that's hefty. <laughs> Not yet they can't. Eventually they'll be strong enough to touch water. You're the head security guard, so watch it. Oh. Huh. A great magician sits on his bottle day. So we lost one of our teammates. No matter which one of you it is, it's, she's always over there. She didn't follow closely enough and now she got stuck. This happens a lot. The uh, the character clipping for following along together gets to be bad in some parts. Especially when you start to go fast. Um, we can't go fast now. Because we don't have the right gear. But there is a thing or two... That you can do that make you go really fast in the game. What are you going to do about this? I don't know. So unfortunately I recently watched the speedrun of this game. And I had that speedrun in mind. So I'm not sure if I'm going to actually play through most of the temple coming up or not. Because the speedrun shows him beating the temple in a very short period of time. Using a very short amount of moves. And he's very quick to do it. Very, very fast stuff. Um, I'm not sure if I want to go with the normal route or follow that route. We shall see. We shall see indeed. Oh, quit scolding the ways of sorcery. What about removing all the monsters? Great rods of lightning! <laughs> uh, of course we will. Our wells must grow too. Yeah, so they're basically going to help. And that's so sweet of them. Um, Fu has a way of talking that just is very persuasive. Which, I mean, if you didn't have her in the party, you would, you'd find Hikaru and Umi getting up to all kinds of things that were not necessarily the best choices for everyone. But, you know, uh, because Fu's here, things really work out very well. So, because you've talked to Lucino and the village chief already, the story has now manifested in the fact that it's uh, Lucino's already in the cave and he's messing more stuff up. 
So now, if we want to talk to anybody else in town, we can, but we don't have to. You literally only have to talk to the Kino and the village chief. And once you've done that, this cutscene happens, and then he runs into the cave, and you gotta go chase him down and stop him. If you don't stop him, he basically hurts you a lot. No, he doesn't. But he gets in your way quite significantly. Do you want me to bring her down here? Scrying a whole bunch, and I'm not sure that that's a good thing, so we might be cutting the stream pretty short here, guys. Uh, would like to play for another hour, but that's probably not gonna happen. Actually, it's almost 7 6 30. Yeah, so I'm gonna be, yeah, I'm gonna be done here pretty, pretty soon. Then, yeah, Peter, I got about a half hour, 40 minutes left before I need to be off anyway, too. Gotta work tonight at 8 o'clock, so. Yippee doo dah! You slept so much today. How could you be tired? I mean, I guess she is a baby. Um. Yeah. Um. Maybe something to drink. This is a baby. So we do actually have the option to save up our walk energy now with full health. Like Zelda. And everybody's got that special kind of mom thing now, I think. Yes, so. Now we've actually got the best moves in the game available to us. Uh, Cruz is the most epic out of everybody. She has heat seeking missiles basically. Oh, and that's done. Oh no, I guess not. I thought it was done after you took a hit. I guess not. Awesome. Right. So one of the things that we will be doing is going through each and every particular spot in this cave that we can get to, because some of them, some of the spots in the cave actually give us decent stuff, some of the monsters give us decent things too, uh, magic. Their spell takes forever to cast, but it's worth it, especially if you start to get some blue stuff going on. Right, he puts forth a lot of traps and stuff that he wants you guys to deal with. He's always, almost always in the way. And if you know which one of these to go up, you don't have to worry about being in any of the teleporters. But the teleporters do take you to other places. And we are collecting and farming gems too while we're in here. You notice I have 88. I want to have one of each of those health potions. Uh, yeah, that one just takes us back out. So I need at least 300 gems total. And I'd like to have that by the time I'm done this level. So I'm going to keep farming while I try to figure out which one of these is the exact right path. This one's probably the correct one. No, I guess not. I think those have to be entrance. So it's the second path. Or oh, none of them. One of those two. Ah, magic! Also, 
also one point you'll end up in the trap area. Not that this is important to do, I just like to do it for fun. But you'll end up in the trap area that he sets out for you, and if you've already moved stuff in that spot, then you're uh, going really, really quickly. Otherwise, yeah, painful. So go in here. Yeah, there we go. It's almost done. It's very close to empty. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so it gives us a health potion, so we don't actually have to worry about saving up for a whole health potion now. We have enough for a magic potion. So now it's a matter of finishing the dungeon with some being and grace. Um, the health potion costs 200 gems, the magic potion costs 100 gems. You don't want to go near those, those are painful. That's about as complicated as most of the puzzles get to be. You, you find a thing where you have to do a thing and push a thing. And that pretty much sums up the extent of the problem. He's going to appear throw this ball at you. Funny enough, we push this ball back to where we got it from. And it breaks open that wall. Uh, hoping there was something findable and breakable in there too. There's some hidden things in these levels as well. I don't remember where most of them are. But there are hidden special things as well. Oh, for instance, this is behind where the other gem was. Oh, well that wasn't very nice of you. And yes, enemies have eye frames, but enemies also have death frames. When, you, when I say the eye frames, this game allows you to have invincibility frames as characters, but enemies do not get invincibility frames. They get, look, I'm hurt, and I'm dying, frames. And that's literally the extent of the enemy's um, deal. They die, and that's that. So if you get a spot where they're taking eye frame damage, fantastic, because they're just going to die. For instance, that guy there, can you just, oh, well, that's not helpful. Shoot him again and again and again and again. And while he's taking damage, he can take damage and damage and damage and damage and damage. There, that's useful. So what I mean by that is, um, invincibility frames, you shoot a guy, he flashes, he stops moving, and he can continue to be hit. So this is the correct way to be going. I'm going to go back and go back down that pathway before. Um, there was that one room I, I missed. Yeah. He's funny. He does some funny things. He's trying to he's trying to be safe. Uh, trying to help them. He is. He's trying. He's failing hard. You can bounce while you're while you're holding down the attack button. You can also run by holding down the attack button and the, and the forwards motion button. Ah, oh, I thought this was a doorway here. Sorry, I guess that's just a hole. And nothing to do and nowhere to go there. My bad, I guess I was going the right way all the whole time. But yeah, the fastest way to get around is literally to jump. Uh, everywhere. But you can run, um, and you can access running faster later on. Right now, the only way to access running is to do that. Oh. 
That was a tough jump. Namely because you don't have a big jump jumping distance and because the uh, frames are a little off. Luckily I only took one health off, so we're actually not looking too bad with uh, the foo here. Oh no, he drank all of the magic fountain. How dare he drink all the magic fountain. You're gross, he's now gonna go make a fountain of his own. What a guy, eh? What a guy. health upgrade. Cargo needs a health upgrade. Right, I forget that you can select it afterwards. <laughs> I was purposely selecting the right character. But, uh, yeah. It won't really matter. I should be giving everything to Fu, honestly. I, I roleplay a lot better with Fu, and I enjoy her abilities a lot better. I missed that jump. I don't know how. But I did. I kill this guy first before I think of it again. Now, is this the correct way to go? No. This is magic. So with um Now I have an attack magic with Fu, which is fantastic. She deserves it. Let's see if I can get a, a blue thing out of this guy here. Yes, awesome. So she, now she can use her magic twice. Her attack magic twice. She can only heal once, still. It takes six to heal two. No twice. There is a way to skip around all that jumping. Um, yeah. Aha. Bye. You can um, use that to step on the platform. And if you do that that way, that changes the way all those other platforms work. Um, but you go back to here, so. I'm pretty sure it'll save that configuration though, so you can go back on it. Um, this allows you to basically skip around the level if you wish to. No, it didn't save, okay. That's great. We we're going to try that again. There's a way to beat that platform. I'm fairly certain. Hey, okay, I guess not. Just have to use the correct one. Nope, not that one. Okay, right, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have a couple more free gems. Um, it's not a huge level. You don't have to worry about being too far behind. And as long as you maintain the run, 
You should still have access to the run full time. Anyway. It shouldn't ever go away between scenes, but I guess maybe it does. Experience or anything in this game, so fighting them doesn't help your cause. You have to move out of my way. It might be worth farming this room for a bit just to get. Uh, more magic back, because that guy drops magic most of the time. I think I'll do that, just farm this twice. Of course he appears when I can't get him. Come over here, buddy. There you are. Farming magic means I shouldn't take any hits. Farming is not a way to take damage. You should never take damage in farming. But that's a better position than we were in when we were last here, so we're okay now, I think. We could farm for one more magic, but why bother wasting the time? If the fun worked, of course, I wouldn't have had to worry about that at all, but now this guy was greedy and decided to drink all the magic to himself. What a nice guy he is, eh? Oh, oh, I missed that. I could have gotten that right off the bat. I forgot that you can still jump after it up to its um, being distant of you. Not cool, man. Not cool at all. I'll farm with somebody else then. Killed my healer by mistake. How dare you? I can't drink all of this fountain. Totally under control. No. No, you don't. It doesn't sound like you do. Surprise! Hmm. Shuffle and dinging. Oh, this is not a good sign. Collapse on me. Come on, it's better. Nope. You have to be perfect with those when you get into trouble. Well, I'm sure the legs hurt you too, but I haven't really 
that it depends on to find out. Should almost be able to attack it twice, but... Got it. That was Ascot's pet. He's pretty mad now. But Ascot doesn't attack us himself, so. Yeah, we took care of all the monsters, technically. There may have been a hidden wall or two that I've missed, but I don't think so. This game isn't really like that. If there's a hidden wall, it's pretty obvious. Hey, no worries. Yeah, life happens. It's all good, my man. Um, we beat the dungeon, we save the people. Read the villagers, uh, ruin the guys' reputations. It's all good. Ah, <laughs> yeah. They give him all the praise. Which is bad, because um, he's not that good a mag magician, so if there's ever another test of his strength or courage, he, uh, yeah, he's not really a bad guy. The good guy points, and her armor leveled up. Umi's going to be next for the level ups. Ragnardia was my favorite pet. Those girls will pay dearly for killing it. I just have to figure out why they were so nice to Lukino after what he did. It has to be an act. They cannot be that sweet. Yeah, they are. They're girls. They love people and things. Look at how much health she has now. Holy go. Seven health and like six magic. So cool. Everybody's got so much everything. It's almost like you can't remember where you came from. The game has progressed that much. So. We don't have to talk to anyone else in town. We can just leave out this direction. Otherwise we'll have to talk to somebody. No, not this direction maybe. Not the north end. Now, we do want to come in here first. And we want to buy a magic potion. Now, this will come in handy in temple number five or six. It probably won't be useful before then. And it might be the only one we ever need. But it's better to buy one and and not need it than to have need of one and not have it on you. And we also have a health potion that we found in that one. And there's these rain, rainbow amulets. Um, so the rainbow amulet is complete when you have found all uh, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Yeah, boy, Gbev. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. You have to find all seven colors, seven, all seven colors, you have to find eight of each gem. So 56 gems in total or something like that, scattered throughout the whole world. There's also the machinas that are available here, once you find the machinas. And uh, other items throughout the game will be found in that menu too. Magics are listed here, so we've got two different magics there. 
Next up for magic should be Hikaru, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe Umi, actually. I'm not 100% on who gets the next magics. It's been a while, okay? Yeah, I think it's, um... I think it's Umi gets the next magic. Pretty sure. Oh, and there's a magic shop here. Magic, magic. Forgot what this guy sells. When you lose your way, I can show you the way. Two bucks from which I can divide in your future. The sun book. I don't even know what this is. Broaden your... Yeah, no, that wasn't useful at all. Uh, I've never used this guy before, for any reason. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The beginning of one is the end of another. Gotcha. So basically he's a fortune teller scammer guy who just stole 25 of my rupees. Which is okay, because I honestly don't care. It's in-game currency. And not useful for much, actually. There's not very many places or things you can buy stuff. Not very much things to buy. Most of the things you need, you find. Sorry, I just had to scratch an itch. See, the whole thing about not being able to use your weapons or armor or magic in town makes that a lot more challenging than you'd think. And by a lot more challenging, I mean infinitely more challenging than you think. This is a special hidden spot that gets opened up later. Hey, look! She's all the way up there by herself because she got stuck in a wall and couldn't find her way down. I'm trying to remember where to go in this town to who to talk to. There's very specific people you have to talk to in this town to activate the next quest. Also, um. Umi will be getting her machine coming up here pretty quickly, so the game isn't doesn't seem all that long, but Hikaru's machine takes forever to get, like, considering we're going to get Umi's right away here. This will be within the first, like, six hours of gameplay, and then all of a sudden, it'll take forever to get to Hikaru's. It's like, Hikaru's machine is like the last thing you do in the, in the place, which is kind of ironic, considering Hikaru is like the most confident girl of the three of them. But because she's super confident, she also has super high doubts. And yeah, it's, uh, yeah, basically problems. Caltus, yeah, we find Caltus. He's uh, in the northern frozen town. Once we get up there. Pretty sure that's his name. I'm pretty sure he's there. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. His house is empty. Is that what we I don't know, man. Make an old chest. Fireplace. Smallest kitchen in the world. Ain't nothing on the walls. <laughs> the only sheet on this bed is a sheet of dust. That's gross, man. Holy. How can you live with yourself? Oh, yeah, I guess he's not really living there, is he? Yeah, he's traveling. Uh, yeah, she just likes companionship, which is too bad because he's not a companion of theirs. Oh, he's such an angry young kid. 
And of course, if you called him a young boy, he would also be angry by that by quite a bit too. Okay, well, there is something definite that we have to do here in town. I'm not sure if we've talked to the right people or not yet. I don't think so. Right, Sarah. Being controlled by um, Ascot's thingy. Yeah, the fish all left when the water got poisoned. Strange whirlpool, eh? Hey? Ah, look, it's this guy again. No. No, we don't find you useful. Helpful? No, definitely not helpful. Oh, that sounded bad. Hmm. Yeah, just about, eh? Yeah, I guess I should be shutting her down. Okay, I'm um, just going to finish this uh, house and then we'll get to the next house and we'll save and show her off because we can't save this one anywhere. This is um, Sarah's house. Her family is very concerned about her. She is the next person that we get to deal with and save. Must be hanging out with the bad guys too much. How's that song go? Oh, this is a potions person? Or do they actually sell other things too? It'd be neat if they sold something other than just one of the two of those. Uh, I think there might be a third option available in some shops, so you might want to check all the shops just to make sure. Uh, yeah, pretty sure we have to go in there. Pretty sure we have to go into this mansion in order to progress the storyline. So, oh, hey, look at that! I'm still got it. I think that's the first hidden one, but I could be wrong. And if there are other hidden ones out there that I missed, then, and um, they're further back than Palazzo Village, then we're screwed, because I can't go back further than that. I can't go back to the Forest of Silence. So if there was one in there, we won't be getting it this playthrough. But anyway, it's time to shut her down for the day. Yeah, um, sometimes the NPCs get stuck in places, and then they just warp to you as fast as they can, and sometimes that looks pretty cool. Sometimes it looks pretty scary, so yeah, it can it can definitely be fun. But anyway, we're gonna illustrate a diary writing, and there we go, save file two. We're gonna create a second save file because I'm not entirely sure if I missed stuff. I wasn't looking it up, so without knowing for sure, I don't want to have missed stuff on purpose and then not be able to go back to it. Because it'd be nice to go back to things and get them if I need them. No matter how far I am into the save, or how far I am into the game. Uh, I don't want to restart from the very, very beginning. See you later. Have a good one. Thanks for coming. Appreciate you hanging out. 
I'll catch you again, t what's tomorrow? Thursday, I'll catch you again Friday. Friday, Saturday, and then back to next week. Peace out. Have a good one.